we're gonna start with Abraham White, 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 Abraham White, and I need to get to so um, too many tabs open. Is that a problem? Having too many browser tabs open? Yes, I get always lost on my computer. Who gets lost on their computer with tabs? Uh, hey, we are all together. Good. <laughs> Hang on. Did I close this? Hang on. Hang on. So, so, sorry, I'm a little nervous now because I. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh huh. Uh -huh. Yeah, Saturday morning. So, the lightning talks, we won't have any QA. Um, so, there are three speakers here, and they will be available to you after uh, the talk. Um, and I will let you know where. Abraham Whitehall um, wears many hats in the WordPress community. Uh, he's a WooCommerce support engineer. He's actively participating um, as a WordCamp volunteer speaker and is, helping, is a helping hand, hand at the uh, WordPress forums. And occasionally, you might also spot him uh, brightening the sponsor booth at uh, WooCommerce at different WordCamps in Africa and Europe. Um, well, welcome him to the stage. Abram, you're up. And he will talk to you about diverse and sustainable future, how high school students and teachers in Uganda are nurturing a WordPress community. It's up to you. Thank you. Welcome. So, hi, everyone. I've traveled from far just to bring you a story. It's a story of a sacrifice and dedication by a section of the WordPress community in Uganda. The community, they are mostly uh, made up of teachers as they had to roll out WordPress in high schools throughout Uganda while overcoming the impossible odds. And their efforts are changing the WordPress landscape in the country while uh, also nurturing young talent. So, my name is Abraham Waita. I'm a Woo Happiness engineer, and uh, I've actively been involved in the community, uh, and I like attending and volunteering at WordCamps. Uh, it's always great to see the community come together, and uh, the designers, the de developers, the bloggers, and all of us who are passionate about WordPress uh, to share ideas and uh, connect with each other. Uh, when I first attended uh, a word camp in Uganda, I was uh, surprised to see a new group of attendees I had not seen in other word camps before, high school students. Uh, in that event, the students by far outnumbered all other attendees, and I was curious to understand why this was the case. Uh, so it turned out that they were at the event to learn more about WordPress because they needed the skills back in school. And so why did they need these skills back in school? Uh, so this is the journey that WordPress took to high schools in Uganda. The government changed the curriculum and uh, it put a strong emphasis on information communication technology, ICT integration in uh, high school education. One disruptive change that came from this uh, curriculum was that students taking an elective subject called ICT were now required to come up with projects that address a real problem in their community. When the curriculum was launched, it was a bit of a frantic search from the teachers to find a solution to meet this new curriculum requirement uh, because the uh, tools and uh, the methodologies they'd been using to teach the ICT subject were no longer going to meet this cut. Uh, so fortunately, there were some teachers who were well-versed in WordPress and they thought it would be a perfect fit for the students. Uh, so they thought of introducing it to their colleagues. But introducing WordPress to all high schools in Uganda would come with its own set of challenges. So. First challenge was that there was limited teacher expertise. Very few teachers knew much about WordPress to be able to teach it in schools. 
And secondly, this was an independent initiative. So it was not the government requiring teachers to teach WordPress in schools. So if the teachers wanted to use it, then it would be 100% on them to figure out how to spread WordPress to all schools. Now, faced by these challenges, what solutions did they come up with? So uh, they came up with some sustainable programs to quickly spread WordPress to all teachers and students. Now, these uh, uh, initiatives are still going on. The first one is each one teach one. So on Tuesday evenings, the teachers uh, gather online and tackle specific WordPress topics, and they learn from each other. So teach each one, teach one. Next, we have physical workshops. The teachers who are now already well-versed in WordPress travel throughout the country to different schools to give deeper dives into WordPress so that they can bring their colleagues up to speed. Then uh, local meetup groups from an initial number of about two, we now have six active meetup groups in Uganda. And uh, through the meetups, teachers are able to learn uh, more about WordPress and also share uh, learning resources with each other. Then student-friendly WordCamps. Uh, it's different from here, but in Uganda, when there's a word camp, mostly organizers will send formal invitations to schools, and uh, they give the biggest track to students, and there's a careful selection of the talks that happen in that track to make maximum use of the students' time. And lastly, next-gen events. So Uganda has also been an early adopter of uh, the next gen events, and they're using this to gamify learning WordPress in high schools. So they periodically hold website competitions, and uh, the students get to showcase the projects that they've already created using WordPress. So the big question is, with all these uh, sustainable programs, uh, has there been any success so, yes, we have seen great success so far. Uh, there are students who are developing real-world solutions with WordPress, and uh, through the next-gen website competitions, we're able to ha have a good view of what's happening in different schools. I want to highlight two projects that were presented in the last website competition where I was uh, a judge. So the first one is LearnHub. It's an e-learning platform. Uh, it's made to eventually offer high school education online. And an interesting bit is that it was uh, built by a student who faced challenges joining high school. And so when they are eventually able to join high school, they related with a problem uh, they faced. And uh, because they had learned uh, WordPress, they built a solution uh, for it. Uh, the statistics they gave was that 300,000 students face this problem every year. So if it uh, comes to life, uh, it will be solved, hopefully. Uh, the second one is uh, Find Your Ideal School. Uh, it's an easy platform for students who have just completed their A-levels to find A-level schools. And uh, it was built by a student who faced challenges uh, finding an A-level school because there was no centralized platform uh, where they could uh, filter and sort out all their A-level school options. Uh, there are several other great examples uh, of uh, students coming up with practical solutions to problems they have faced. And uh, more of these projects will be showcased in the next event that will be happening in July in Kampala, Uganda. And if you're keen, you, you can see the pattern here is that the students are identifying a problem that they relate to it, and they built a solution for it. So uh, as we celebrate the teachers who have uh, led to these remarkable events uh, in turning around the fates of the students, I would like to mention one role that the global WordPress community can play over there. Uh, in a discussion with the ICT Teachers Association of Uganda, the teachers ex expressed the need for more sponsors for their WordCamps. And 
This is because they'll be able to organize more impactful WordCamps, reaching uh, a wider audience of teachers and students. So they are targeting three things. One, uh, to be able to accommodate more students. Currently, they hold about 200 students per event. But what if they could accommodate 1,000 or more across five events per year? Next, they are able, they'll be able to subsidize the WordCamp tickets because currently students have to pay out of pocket, just like all other attendees, to come to WordCamps. And lastly, uh, the attendees can get more swag, and that is self-explanatory. Uh, you can find the next event, uh, which will be the website competition on WordPress Central, and get in touch with the organizers to get involved. Uh, so that's the story uh, of the Unsung Heroes. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> as I leave you today, I hope that the story inspires you to do something impactful in your own community. Thank you.